Good morning, everyone. Um, as you've heard a few times today, uh, 2020 is a big year because it's an election year, but it also is a really big year for housing in our community because all of the cities in the county are required to submit plans to the state that detail where new homes are going to go um, and how we're gonna build them over the next eight years. And for the first time, all of those cities, the county and the Council of Governments um, Ha might just work together to plan for housing in a way that we all experience our community, which is not in a bubble of each city or municipality, but throughout our whole region. Um, and the first step in that is the signing of a countywide uh, regional compact. It's an aspirational, visionary agreement designed to set the tone for productive collaboration and planning. And at the Chamber, we're gonna be encouraging each community to follow in the steps of the County Board of Supervisors who became the first signatories to this compact earlier this week. Um, the document lays out six shared regional goals that'll guide collaborative resolution of our housing and infrastructure challenges. And those six goals are strengthening community quality of life, sharing regional prosperity, creating balanced communities, valuing agriculture and natural resources, supporting equitable opportunities, and fostering accelerated production of housing. So working together might sound like an easy or obvious solution, but believe it or not, um, this would be the first time that our communities have come together um, in this formalized way. And it's a really big deal. And so we really wanna celebrate this and encourage everyone to take this first step. It is not the finish line by any means, but it's a really important starting point and recognizes that we can't address the challenges of housing and infrastructure alone. And we certainly can't do it by pointing fingers and blaming other people or other communities. Um, we're also making sure that each one of you, our members, has an opportunity to see these housing plans before they're submitted. And so in addition to the out-of-area experts that we're bringing to our April Housing Summit, um, each of the cities in the county will be sharing an initial draft, sharing where they are in their housing element plans and answering questions so that you can have a better understanding of what's going on and can be better informed to help share your individual voice um, and also know what the chamber is doing to advocate for the shape of our community really over the next eight years. So finally, um, as Julianne mentioned earlier, it is, there's less than a week to go until the California primary. Um, and even if you have already voted, there's one more thing that we're gonna ask you to do before Tuesday, and that's to please take a moment and check in on a couple of people in your circle and make sure that voting doesn't fall off of their radar. Um, something as simple as offering to drive a friend or family member who doesn't get out of the house very often, checking in on busy parents um, and reminding them how important local elections are to their children's future, or even just reminding your friend who has the flu uh, to walk out of their house for a minute, put their ballot in the mailbox, can make a huge, huge difference. And so hopefully these are really easy things to remind people and encourage them to be part of um, shaping our community and our state and our nation for years to come. Thank you so much.